Hey everybody, Vinci Al here and we're ready to work on the Mark II. Today's DIY is how to remove Mark II seats front and rear. Let's get to work. So for the Mark II, they're very similar to Mark IVs and like threes and older VWs. Uh, the seats are very, very easy to remove. And I'll show you. You'll see here there's a little nut here that prevents the, um, the slider from going all the way back. And then... Double check back here. That's pretty much it. <laughs> you see how like this little disengage uh, pulls this out. The little lever here. Let's see if you guys can see that. See there where my finger is at. A little lever. That's what you know, see slides it. So this is what's preventing it from falling out pretty much of its seat. So this looks like a little 10 millimeter uh, nut. And we're going to hold this down, and we're going to unbolt that, and let's see if that takes off the uh, seat. So now that the uh, seat, pull the seat forward about an inch or two, and then just break loose this little nut and whatever you want to call this little insert here. Put them back together, that way you don't lose anything. And you'll see this is off. We're going to pull the lever back, and you'll see the seat go all the way out, okay, because now it's out of the little socket here. Once that's out, you're going to slide the seat all the way back, because that's pretty much it. That's all that holds it in place. You'll see over here, down here below, this little guide. If you just keep pushing back, that's it. Push it all the way back until it comes out on both sides, and the seat should just come right out. So let's see. Unless someone put a screw in here <laughs> that'll keep it from sliding all the way out. So on this side, there's a screw down there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right here where my finger is at. There's a screw there, so we gotta remove that screw and see if that's uh yeah, cause that's what's keeping us from sliding all the way out. So here's that screw I was talking about, and you'll see the cover right here. I didn't have it on one side, so it's kind of weird. It's only one screw <laughs> that holds the seat in. 100% pretty much. It's pretty crazy how simple these cars were <coughs> made. So now that's removed and you'll see the guide there. You'll see the guide over here. Just slide those out and the seat should come out. I don't know what that is. There we go. So this seat only took two screws. Not too shabby. Now we're going to do the driver's side. You will see how dirty this car is. It's pretty filthy. Um, we're actually going to get new carpet because we're not going to reuse this carpet in this car. 
so I'm not really concerned about cleaning it but you guys can just check it out we're gonna actually get new seats we're gonna do aftermarket seats in here if I can hunt down a really nice set of Recaro MK2 Recaros I will get those instead but for the moment that's what we want to do is aftermarket seats but we'll see um, how the future holds up on the build while we keep going at it so let's remove the next uh, seat right now and as you can see there's another one of these screws so we gotta take this one off pull up and just be careful not to crack it ah <laughs> tripod fell there you go so that's all removed and now we're going to take that one screw off on the other side I mean the bolt so let's get over there so this is the driver side one same thing just a 10 mil nut so pull the seat forward about an inch if it lets you <laughs> Hard to see, and it's super filthy. It's just a 10 millimeter nut, doesn't go on very hard. Just like that. Pull the seat back again so it pops out. Now, be careful. I don't even know what this is for. I think this is probably the the sensor to tell that there's someone sitting here. Because airbags weren't an option in these cars back in the day. So yeah. Oh no, no. This is the uh, seatbelt warning light. So this actually tells you that you have your seatbelt disconnected. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, it's just a two-wire warning to tell you that the seatbelt is disconnected. Uh, same process, just pull the seat all the way back outside of the sliders and pull the seat out. And that's the process for the front seat removals. We're going to get to the back seats right now. So now with the back seats, we're going to figure this out together. Let me see here. Huh. Well, this one's uh, not really bolted in. Ah, there you go. There's a screw here, here here and another one over here so we're doing this all together because this is this is my first time actually taking one of these apart so we're learning together so there's this one okay so remember how these come off because they have a washer in them Interesting. Keep your Phillips handy with you. you know, everyone has its own little cover, so keep keep those covers because you want to. You're probably gonna reuse them when you get the car back up and going, and it depends if you're gonna keep back seats or in here or not. I don't know if my wife wants back seats or not yet, but it is an option. If you're considering keeping the back seats, then make sure you don't lose all this hardware that we're removing. So you'll notice these have like little flaps and you can pull them up and out. So now doing that. <laughs> the seat just falls off. <laughs> That's so dope. That's so simple. So there is a latch here. You see here. If this wasn't, uh, if this seat was actually latched in, you had to pull back on this. And see right over there. There's a hook for it, and that would hold the seat in place right there. But I don't see what would keep the seat in place on this side. Very interesting, and in how they put these cars together. I don't see any type of latch other than where it's hooked into. 
Very, very interesting, guys. So this one is also not latched up. Yeah, it is latched in, so here we go. Time to learn. So we're over here. And looks like you have to take the, the trunk cover off. So let's go outside and check that out. So this has to come off. And then you'll see right there, there's a little lever. And then there you go. Seats off. And pull those suckers out. I honestly am super like intrigued in how simple this is. I love it. So these are my stock rear seats. And they're fixed. They have fixed backs. Which is pretty dope. Let's see here. And so pretty much the bolt on right here. One, two, and they have a little latch. Right there. That's it. Pretty dope. I like that. Very, very smart. Very easy and convenient. This seat's coming out. Ooh, there's something here. Interesting. What does this do? What is this? I did not see this. I'm pulling this off, so hold on guys over here with me into the action so you see here there's this cable right here steel cable being held by this little rubber grommet here it goes inside It is a hook. Interesting. Haha. -ha. Alright, so the driver's side seat is actually hooked into the uh, into the frame of the car. Which is pretty cool if you think about it. I guess it kind of prevents people from stealing it. I don't know. I figured it out. I'll put that back in. And there you have it, guys. How to remove uh, MK2 uh, front and rear seats. Thanks for watching. Next DIY is going to be removing the carpet and interior panels. So, see you guys soon. So.